In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple trick to create Gantt chart easily in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have just added one construction crane image and I've just put the heading as Gantt chart for one year. And when I click, it will show me the Gantt chart. I have just added the description here, phase name one till phase 13. And then if you want, you can just add the months here. This is not required, but if you can want, you can add the months. For example, phase one will run for two months. So I've just given the this one from Jan to Feb. You can see here the green color means the work completed. The work, the red means the work pending. So let me just show you the simple trick on creating the Gantt chart. Add a new slide and I'm going to insert the table here. To insert the table, go to insert tab and click on the table and just say insert table. So how many rows in the columns you need, you need to define here. For example, I need only two columns and number of rows depending on your requirement, maybe 10, 12, 15, whatever. Let me just make it example 10 only and click OK. So you can see here it has created the table with two columns and 10 rows. And then I'm just going to untick both banded rows and the header row. So it looks something like this. And here I'm just going to bring it to the left side and I'm going to increase the size you can see here and this particular the first column I'm just going to select and I can increase or decrease the width of this one either you can just increase it from something like this from here or you can just go to layout and you can start reducing the width you can see here it is reducing the width so i'm just going to make it for example i want this much width and this also i'm just going to increase it and let me just select the second one and i'm increasing you can see here so i have created two columns now one is a smaller and another is a bigger one let me add some background here first of all go to insert shapes and select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here i'm just covering this much and shape outline make it no outline and whichever color you like you can just add it here or you can simply right mouse click go to format shape and fill you can just select any good picture also here that looks also very beautiful so let me just select for the meantime this color and I'm just going to send this to back and you can see here this table I'm just going to select the table go to design and shading just make it white you can see here and increase the size if you want and you can see here the columns are not visible the lines are not visible here so I'm just going to select again go to layout sorry go to design and you can just select you can see here uh, which uh, the uh, width of the line and then what's the color for example let it be black and then i'm just going to give the borders here so you can see here it's clearly visible and if you feel that the lines are very big uh, so you can again select it reduce the width again pen color maybe i can just give a a gray color and just click the border again so you can see here you have got the the light color here now you can add your description here for example before adding just select this particular column go to home what will be the font color what will be the font size it's 1820 you can define make it bold and then you can just go to a layout and select this both and then just type your description here you can see here description one description two so likewise you can just add all your descriptions here now once you added the description i want to add the months here from jan to december but i have only one column how do i add 12 months there i cannot add it for that what i need to do is i'm just going to select the last you can see here this the last row the second column and then you can just go to split cell you can see here split cell which is under layout click on the split cell it asks how many columns you need for example i need 
10 columns, 12 columns, how many columns? For example, I'm just saying 12 columns I need. Rows should be one only. And when you say click OK, you can see here it has created 12 columns. So I can just put again, I'm just selecting this. And again, go and select this both. And then I'm just going to type, you can see here, Jan, or it is very big. Let me just highlight this go to home and reduce the size you can see here jan feb march april may june july august september october november and december so you can see here I've added the columns here and then the description goes here. Just add the required description. Now as you can see here I've added the description and below I have added the months here. If you want you can add the months on the top up to your requirement. And now uh, generally I want to add the description from which month to which month it goes. I want to just put the bar line there. So generally what we used to do is we just go to insert shapes and I'm just going to select a, a rectangle and then I'm just drawing like this. Right. And then press control D again. Here what happens is if I try to reduce the weight sometimes it increase or decrease. So it creates some problem for the designing. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you a different way of doing this one. I'm just going to highlight this particular column where we are going to add the lines. And then let me just go to font and I'm just going to select the font called Webdings. Okay. And I'm just going to reduce the font size to say maybe only six. Okay. And then I'm going to select again, go to design, sorry, go to layout. I'm going to select this again, make it center one here. You can see here, this one only you select. And I'm just going to type G only. The moment I type G, you can see here, it is giving me something like this. So now if I want to example, if I want to start, let me just show you again. Let me just show you this. For example, now I want this description one will go from Jan to Feb. So I'm just going to type G here till Feb. You can see here till this is Feb. And then the next one should start from Feb. So I'm just coming here and you can see here the small the, on, on the ruler. I'm just going to move this one to February here. And then I'm just going to type G. And this is only for say again two months. All right. And then I'm just going to this one March. Say this is again this starting from March. I'm just going to move this to March and I'm just going to type G here. Maybe this is goes for four months. So likewise, simply way, simple way you can just add the your the project schedules here. So likewise, you can just add it for all. For example, again, this is starting from say March on or say Feb. I'm just going to bring it here and then I'm just going to type G. All right. So and then you can just change the color also. For example, this two task has been completed. I'm just going to highlight this, go to home and I'm just going to change the color font color to green. So it becomes green and say this is not yet completed so I'm just going to make the font color as red so you can see add simple just select this one move this ruler here which is on the top and then for example this is starting from July I'm just going to type G make sure that you have to select the font web links otherwise if you just type G it will just come G only if you are selecting some other fonts apart from Webdings and webding fonts by default available in the Microsoft PowerPoint. That's it from me, friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. 
see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye